three, two, one. What's up, everyone? Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture, March 27th, 2019. I hope you're doing well. Bitcoin coming to a really important area, which could be a precursor to a pretty major move for Bitcoin. I want to talk about it in this video, some support areas to look out for, and uh, a couple other things I want to talk about. We're going to start on the daily chart. Two things volume and continuation in regards to this current pattern you see on the screen an ascending triangle number one volume I, I see some misconceptions out there that you know bitcoin is is kind of looking bearish because of a decrease in volume but i just want to throw it out there since there's a decrease in volume in synergy with this ascending triangle it's not such a bad thing ascending triangles majority of the time have a have descending decreasing volume i should say so we see decreasing volume as we approach kind of the the last 70 to to 75 percent to the apex of this triangle and it's normal right so uh we're playing well into this current ascending triangle pattern so i want to throw that out there just so that you know uh, a decrease in volume isn't necessarily a bad thing it becomes a bad thing when we begin breaking support to the downside. And we'll talk about that in this video. Secondly, I want to talk about uh, continuation. So I see, I, I've seen comments talking about an ascending triangle is a continuation pattern, a bearish continuation pattern. And that just, that's just not true. A bearish continuation pattern would be the inverse of a, an ascending triangle, a descending triangle, lower highs and, um, an ascending triangle is higher lows, right? So here's an ascending triangle of higher lows, and then here's a descending triangle of lower highs. Now that is a continuation pattern to the downside, and we've seen it. We saw it play out perfectly when we broke six thousand dollars. So an ascending triangle is a continuation pattern to the upside, or it can be a reversal pattern, right? So it can be a reversal pattern, uh, a bullish reversal pattern. Uh, as we kind of form a bottom range. So there is potential for that right now for Bitcoin as Bitcoin tries to find and form that bottom range. So what I'm trying to say is an ascending triangle is bullish, right? Um, that doesn't mean that it's definitely going to break to the upside. It doesn't always. Let's pivot over to the four hour chart and really dig into this a little bit. Um, one thing we have going on at the same time as this ascending triangle is a potential inverse head and shoulders we've been talking about on this channel. We have this long forming right shoulder kind of playing out and we're, we're kind of waiting to see if we actually get a confirmation of that right shoulder. So um, I've talked about the $4,000 area in terms of this ascending triangle, in terms of this neckline in the inverse head and shoulders. And I think a more relevant and important area to watch is right around $4,120. If you go to the daily chart, you can see back here, um, we closed around that area one time on the daily chart. $4,000, I think, is mentally a nice area to look at, and it's an easy area to talk about. But around $4,100, I think, is a more important area to look at, right? So this line right here and this area right here, uh, confluent with the neckline, confluent with the upper trend line of the this ascending triangle, and confluent with this rising wedge that Bitcoin is in in the four hour right now, that is a very important area to watch, $4,100. If Bitcoin can break that $4,100 area, I think we might see a really strong move for Bitcoin to the upside. We've talked about our upside targets, but I also want to talk about some downside targets, right? So uh, we, have this, we have this wedge right now that Bitcoin is within. And it's, it's been within this wedge, this rising wedge, since the end of February, almost exactly a month. And, you know, I think many people have just been waiting to see if Bitcoin's going to break above that $4,000, $4,100 area. But I think it's important to anticipate the opposite, Bitcoin actually breaking down, because we need to anticipate and be ready for areas of support, because things could get messy quick uh, as, as Bitcoin makes a move to the downside if it happens. So right now, in this rising wedge, confluent with the 200 EMA, a very important indicator for Bitcoin in finding its bottom, staying above that 200 EMA, which it has done since, you know, beginning of February. So confluent with that 200 EMA is the bottom of this rising wedge. And right now you can see Bitcoin only around 
2%, 2.5% from this area. So on the short term, on the four hour chart, keep an eye out. Is Bitcoin going to continue to sustain itself above that support area? Because if it doesn't, we have to kind of go over to this other four hour chart and kind of get a sense of, all right, what are our supports? So that, that bottom trend line of that wedge, that 200 EMA is around $3,800. So a retracement to that area could be quite normal and fine for a bullish scenario. We have to keep watching Bitcoin as it trades within this range, within this wedge. But if we break below that, our next support is around 10% to the downside at around $3,500. And that support area is two things. It's number one, the height of this pattern, the wedge, the rising wedge. And number two, it's just above this long-term, uh, mid to long-term ascending triangle that we're talking about. So it's a huge support area. So $3,500 um, is an extremely important area. This could be a bullish setup for Bitcoin, right? It can be further consolidation as we approach the apex of this triangle here. Um, but 10% of the downside is very in play right now. And it's an area that I'm watching out for. Wanted to talk about it in this video. There's so many videos talking about upside. We know upside. Uh, and for me personally, I'll enjoy upside if it comes, but I want to be ready for downside to accumulate. And, um, in general, just hold it together mentally, right? So, but to the upside, yes, we have a breakout target and really just to this long-term trend line extending back to around April of 2018, our target is the height of this ascending triangle, right around $5,300. We have to wait and see. We track it on the four hour, but right now I think this rising wedge and on the very short term, right around 3,900, um, 38 to 3,900 is a really key area to watch for support for Bitcoin. Let's see what happens. If you enjoyed this video, got any value, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber right now, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of the channel. I truly appreciate you coming by today. I hope you have an amazing day. God bless.